Tuesday morning marked the final round of the inaugural Junior President's Cup with the United States coming into the day with a 9-3 advantage with the internationals forged to come back in the singles matches. U.S. two up in this match, but Thailand's Atarouj Winai Chai with the birdie putt to win the hole. He cuts the U.S. down to one up. Moving on to the ninth hole, we call him Dragon, the best nickname ever. Dragon with back-to-back -back birdies, but Noah Goodwin, the Texan, has something to say about that. He goes on to birdie the hole himself. That halves the hole. The match remains U.S. one up. But that was just the ninth hole. We have a lot more golf left for these two. International now two up in this match. Dragon with the birdie miss. But that's all he needed. Goodwin comes along with a par to have the hole. He does not. International wins the match three and one. Over to Cannon Claycomb and Josh Armstrong's match. U.S. four up in this match. Claycomb misses the eagle putt on 14. So the Aussie coming back with a par save, but Claycomb still with the opportunity to win the hole and win the match with this birdie putt on the 14th. The Kentucky kid gets it done, wins that match five and four. On to the match of Fred Lee and Garrett Barber. Here we have Lee on 15. The Australian just comes up short of par. So that gives Garrett Barber the chance to win the match here with his birdie putt. Just misses it. Taps in for par. International concedes four and three. That was the official point that won it all. The inaugural Junior President's Cup for the United States. But we're not done yet. There was still more golf on the course there. Turner Hosh just hops that birdie over the hole on 15. So international Sean Mariuma wins the match four and three. The international won the day seven and five in the singles matches, but the U.S. won the entire inaugural Junior President's Cup 14 to 10 with honorary captains Jack Nicholas for Team USA and Gary Player for Team International on to cheer the guys on Tuesday.